So I, I was basically, I'm looking at this because I'm still thinking about Battlestar Galactica and I need the launch tubes. And so I was looking for linear accelerators and I found this. So I'm going to see how this works. Okay, yeah, this doesn't quite work because it there's colliders that aren't working collect correctly. That's falling through there. The other thing is the arm accelerator is in the wrong place, but... I just let me just uh, do something important here. <laughs> Let's just do this right now. Ready to fire the accelerator? Oh, that kind of worked. But you know what? I think what we need to do is get the one KSP one two two running. There we go. So this is in here. It's loaded up. It's uh, ready to go. Let me just see. Yes, we have some ore inside this. And we should be able to literally shoot the moon with this thing. That's my plan. So, because I've done this in the past and I always had to cheat. I had to do, like, weird things with the atmosphere. But this should be able to get out of the atmosphere. So this is my moon gun. And now what we need to do is get the moon here. Target the moon. Set so as target. Okay, so here is the problem that we do have a slight... Okay, I know, that's fine. I know what I'm doing here. I'm waiting for the moon to come over. That's it, directly overhead, more or less, right? What happens if we aim at the moon? Uh, F5. Okay, let's make everything happen now. So space to deploy the object. And we need to arm the accelerator, and then I need to fire and change it exactly the right time. There we go. Oh, yes, of course. And I need to enable cheat modes. Arm accelerator, and... There we go! Isn't that good? Heading upwards at about 5 kilometers per second. So yeah, we've totally shot through the atmosphere. Now the question is, how close will we get to the moon? Well, we can find out. Oh, we're going to fly past the moon at 1,500 meters, 1,500 kilometers, because by the time we get here, the moon will have moved there. So we need to, let me see, we need to wait a little longer. That's what we need to do. So we're going to run time forwards just uh, another, like, 10 seconds. So I'm just timing this on my watch here. I mean, totally guessing, basically. I think that's going to be good. I'm going to F5 that again. Space. Arm the accelerator. And three, two, one. Fire. Look at it go! It's so awesome. I used an ore container because the ore containers have the highest density, right? So they will carry most of their velocity out from this. Oh, 70 kilometers. We should watch this one at least. Arm the accelerator and three, two, one. Once again, shooting for the moon. And if we miss, we shall land among the stars. Land the gu moon gun on the moon and shoot Kerbin. Now you know what the next part of this plan is. There it is. It is going to hit the moon. I asked it to warp there, but it won't warp there. Why not? Oh, come on, you. Thank you. Where's the spacecraft? I can't see my spacecraft anymore. Did my spacecraft become invisible? <laughs> I don't get it! Where's my spacecraft? Oh, there's, it's like really zoomed out. I must have been scrolling the mouse wheel without thinking. Right, that's the next plan, is to build a nuclear bombardment capability on the moon and shoot the Kerbal Space Center, right? 
There we shot the moon. <laughs> I didn't break the game. I the game was just I was just bad. I was just really bad. There's so many ways that this will go wrong, but you know what? It doesn't Oh, I'm st have I still get infinite fuel on? I may actually have infinite fuel turned on at this point. Why not? Because I want to fly it. I want to see if I can fly this ridiculous contraption. This is not really an exercise in smart flying. This is an exercise in stupidity. Oh, yeah. Probably... <laughs> Check your staging! There we go. And you know what? I'm going to turn off stability control here. So I want to turn... No, I do want to turn this way. Look at that, you see? Brilliant! It's totally working. It's aerodynamic as something that isn't very aerodynamic. And here's the problem that my controls are completely reversed, so it's really hard for me to fly. And it is aerodynamically stable and everything. For now. Uh oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. Now we've got some issues. <laughs> Keep going. You know what way to go. That way. Yeah, I think I'm going to revert this. Revert this to launch, right? Ready? I'm just going to let this go straight up, and as soon as it starts to lose aerodynamic stability, I'm sure we'll be a little more clear of the surface. We're trying to put this railgun on the surface of the moon so that we can shoot at Kerbin. Okay, so I'm going to start rotating out this way. Now that we're high enough... And I think I might actually be going the wrong way. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I can fix that. Oh no, I it, it does actually... No, I, it is the wrong way. Oh, the hilarity of this. <laughs> you know what? I should just stage it early. There, let that thing go. No! Uh, reaction control system. Stability control. Point it forward, will it you? 30 seconds to Apple Apps. Okay, so we're doing this. We're basically circularizing. I might have to circularize a little more aggressively. Oh, brilliant! Zero. Look at that. That is... Man, that is some good timing on there. I tell you, sometimes I amaze even myself. Let's get this thing happening. I'm just going to use these. It's using up quite a bit of my fuel there. So we're gonna, this stage is gonna only get me about 170 meters per second. Then we're gonna need to stage. And you know what? I have noticed that there's an extra stage here. I'm glad that I checked that beforehand. There we go. Sorry stage, we don't need you anymore. You're gonna be cast off into deep space. I don't know what kind of angle angular difference I have I think here is probably the better place to go because we got to cancel out the velocity of the planet just a little bit yeah the moon is supposed to be tidally locked to Kerbin just f5ing this here I've realized Ooh, lasers laser shooting Kerbin that's what that is okay I think that's a good place to start. We're going to start there. And... Go for it! Yes. 
Oh, oh. Now I'm starting to concentrate here. So I do have enough Delta V here. I might need to cheat on the Delta V front, honestly. Okay. Possibly overshooting. That's me down to 200 meters per second. I don't want to land in that crater. 260 meters per second. Vertical speed is now drop. You know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to fly over. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to loft myself so I travel over the top of that crater there. And land in this spot instead. I'm going to do a Neil Armstrong here. I should just be slowing it down, actually. What am I, what am I doing? Let's just fire this quickly! What's my vertical speed? My vertical speed is actually... I'm, I'm falling too fast, so I'm going to do this again. Counteract my vertical speed as quickly as possible. It's because the thrust to weight ratio on this thing is so low. I'm actually having trouble killing my vertical speed here. Oh, I'm going to crash. Totally going to crash. Totally going to crash. Ah, no. <laughs> well, you know what I need to do now, right? Is we need to fire this thing. See what happens. This thing is getting faster, you notice that? <laughs> okay, let's arm this. There, I shot the ground. I shot the moon at point blank range. I want to put it down very gently here. Picking up a little bit of dust. Well, that's us landed. Let's F5 that. Now, where's where's Kerbin? So we might need to adjust our thing to account for rotation, but let's, let's uh, set this thing up. Ready? Um, we're going to hit space. Then I'm going to arm and fire. There it goes, 5 kilometers per second. There's no moon to stop it, no atmosphere to mess it up. And it's going to hit Corbin. First shot. Brilliant, my mission is complete. From here, I'm going to be able to bombard Corbin with my mass driver. The next thing is that we want to be able to target the KSC and shoot it from space. That, that is beautiful. Wow, I thought that hitting that, that like slope was going to mess up my aiming, but apparently I got it perfect. There, look, we've gained a bit of speed here. But it is not gonna, it is gonna hit the surface going really fast. Uh, what's my uh, latitude and longitude? Uh, impact time 22 seconds, latitude 310 east. We're, we're pretty close as well to the equator. The latitude is, is only 3 degrees off the equator, so wow! I shall have my revenge! I'm going to assume that it hit roughly underneath, right? I think that's pretty close. What do you think? I'm going to do that, right? I think that's about as close as we're going to get. Space. Arm accelerator. Fire switch. And that's us. Okay. I'm just curious. If I hit F3. Um, highest G-force. 1,171. Okay, here we go. Let's see how close we get to the Kerbal Space Center. 
I should actually target this, shouldn't I? Oh, I guess I didn't even think about the rotation. So that'll give us an idea, at least, of how far we get off target. So, you know, as it comes down, we'll be able to see whether what way this thing moves. Okay, like... Wait, 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 so... Oh, look! No, we got it! We got... Man, we totally got it, like, in terms of rotation! Holy moly! If only I adjusted for the vertical thing there. Uh, wait a second. Uh, rendezvous. Rendezvous. D select a target. Uh, where's the di distance? Oh, no, wait a second. 1,000 kilometers. What are you talking about? Oh, there. Distance is decreasing. No, 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 no. Uh, how do I... How do I see current distance to target? <laughs> this is unrealistically uh, accurate. Oh, there it is there, look! There's our target there. 70. We got it like six, 58 kilometers. Woohoo! Okay. I am dumbfounded by how accurate that thing was. But I have to go to bed because I'm still sick. But I am... I mean... Look! We can aim this thing! This is... We just need to know some better numbers.